Hi, let's play being computers. Let's get started. Find the number four. Commonly used computers shall do it in four steps. Meet the rival. Quantum computer. Let's understand superposition first. Unlike bits with absolute value 0 or 1, qubits are quantum. These systems can be at many positions at once, means before we try to know, it has some probability of being in 0 and some in 1. So we express the system in this equation. When we measure, it's a bit 0 or 1. For example, spin of electron, upon measuring its state can be up or down. But if we don't measure, it stays in both the states at once. But if we orient the spin in any direction and don't disturb the system, then it is in a superposition state. where we can choose to have both options as an input. Changing the spin's direction, we can change the probability of each option. Similarly, with greater number of qubits, we sum their combinations to form an input. The information we can process at a time increases with the number of qubits. We use energy operators called quantum gates to manipulate the qubits. A Hadamard gate, it takes a state and turns it into a superposition. Or this one is for measuring. This one is for entangling them or making their spins interdependent. Combining, we get an algorithm. They reduce the probability of wrong answers and increases for the right ones. With only 100 qubits, we can have 2 to the power 100 states to store and manipulate our data. By registering quantum factors to each of the states, we can simulate complex chemicals and their formula. Thus, we'll be able to generate medicines and vaccines for cancer and other deadly diseases. Inspiring! Well, you can also start making quantum algorithms at these sites and they're exciting and start shaping the future. Good luck!